Hi, this is Brandon Moon with Moonlit Fly Fishing. Welcome to Fly Tying Night tonight. Really excited about tonight's pattern. Tonight we're going to be tying up the Purple Haze Midge, a great pattern to imitate rising adult midges. So with that, let's go ahead and get started on this pattern tonight. So the hook we're using tonight is the Moonlit Premium Tagata ML102 in a size 18, but a size 20 is a great size as well. Very good dry fly hook, standard forge for added strength. The thread on this is the Semperfly Nano Silk in purple. This is the 30 denier 18 aught. Great for this size pattern. We're going to start that about three quarters and run that all the way back to the bend of the hook where we're going to tie in some Coke de Leon in medium done for our tail here. And I want that tail to be roughly about the length of the hook shank, so I always make sure and tie that in long so that I can shorten it up to length. We'll go ahead and secure the rest of that down to that three quarter point where we will trim out the excess legs. At this point, we're gonna get ready and tie in our post. The material for our post on this is Semperfly's Poly Yarn. I'm using the black Poly Yarn. This is gonna be a great color post for a low light condition. The black shows up really good in low light. For higher light, we're gonna use the cream or we can do a high vis like chartreuse green or orange as well. That gives us a high vis look. So we're gonna secure that in over the top. Now we're gonna lock it in with some wraps in front and in back. And then we'll go up the post a few wraps, roughly about a hook eye's length so that it's not too long. I always start with longer poly yarn so I can get multiple thread or flies out of it. A little bit of super glue is gonna help secure that post in and make it easier to wrap my hackle around. Now I'm just gonna go back to the tail point here. I'm gonna go and underneath this tail with two wraps just to help keep that tail up nice and straight and then i'm going to create a nice tapered body you can see i left the tag end of this thread and you'll see why in just a moment and i just stick that back on my material clip and then i do a few wraps forward and backwards to create the taper i like a slim body but a little bit of a taper always makes this fly look a little more realistic now we're going to take a black alcohol marker and just mark up that tag end of thread just a little bit now i'm going to go back behind the tail so that i don't push that tail down and i'm going to create some nice little ribs ribbing to this fly with wraps going the opposite direction there. And those are open spiral wraps to create that rib look. We'll wrap that all the way up into the post where we'll secure that off. Where this is nano silk, I'm going to take and use a razor blade to trim that out, save my scissors and a headache. Now we're gonna tie in our grizzly hackle and you can see I'm going to tie this in so that I have a nice clean first wrap with that thread so the or on the post so that hackle is going to have a little bit more of a taken trimmed down section so that when I wrap it's going to wrap right up against and be clean I want the shiny side down so that it's going to face upwards when we wrap now we're gonna put some floral purple kapok dubbing, and I don't need very much. This is a slim bo bodied fly. So now we're gonna wrap that hackle, and you can see that it pushes the fibers upwards versus downwards. That gives me a nice cleaner fly. We got three wraps down that post. I always like two to three wraps so that it's not too big. Now a little bit of super glue is going to help me keep a nice clean parachute without having to whip finish. So I'll go over the top of that hackle and under the, the hackle we wrapped. Now underneath the hackle that we left, that will secure it in. Again, razor blade to trim out the nano silk thread and then I use it to help clear and trim out 
the hackle as well. Now we'll trim down the post to length. You can keep it smaller or longer depending on your preference. And here you have the Purple Haze Midge. Thank you for watching our video.